Hey, hey, hey! Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel, Bugs Life with Brit Bugs. This episode is going to be a little different and it's also going to be uh, pretty personal. Um, recently, I've been getting a lot of people um, inquiring about how I kind of um, started my business and also um, kind of like the work that I do. Um, and so the way I actually ended up starting my business has a lot to do with um, my faith. So uh, about three, almost four years ago, I actually chose to get baptized. Um, I made the decision. I felt like I needed something. I was missing something in my life. And I just want to, before I get into my story, I do want to um, disclose this, that I have friends and I um, understand that religion or your faith is individual to you. And so like what works for me, I'm just saying this is what works for me. I know that, you know, I have friends that are atheists, friends that are Muslim, Jewish. I mean, I respect and appreciate all religions and, you know, if you don't practice anything. Um, and so this is just literally um, what my testimony is. And so I found myself um, in a very, really interesting place and really seeking something. I felt like something was missing from my life and what it was for me, um, my relationship with God. And so um, after getting baptized, I started you know, reading scriptures and just doing little things to start introducing um, more faith into my life. Because I'm under the impression um, and my world works is that if I say that I'm passionate about something or if I'm into something, like I need to let my actions also be guided with my words. And so um, fast forward to, I was working at a really prestigious um, nonprofit. I had a great title, um, but I, the, the culture, the environment was not for me. I was very, very unhappy. Um, I was really depressed. Um, I gained weight. I just, I was not in a good space. And at first I was just like, well, you know what? Maybe you're just gonna be stuck. But um, after hearing um, a sermon, um, I go to Elevation. My family home church is Central Church of God. So definitely shout out to Pastor Livingston. Um, but I currently attend um, Elevation and so, Pastor Stephen uh, read the scripture and it was basically like, um, God doesn't tell you not to be afraid or not to be discouraged. What he's saying is that it's okay to be afraid, but you don't have to let that fear consume you. It doesn't have to be you because God has given us all a destiny. And once we, the enemy is not what we think it is. The enemy is our fear. So once we fight that, we can move forward to our destiny. And after hearing that, it just like woke something in my spirit. And I just knew that I wanted to be in a different place. And so I put my two weeks notice in with not really a clear plan, but just knew that I wanted to get back into being an entrepreneur and getting back into events and PR, all the things that I loved and what I originally you know, started my first company doing. And so, after really focusing on that and that my brother actually happened to hit me up at the same time and he's like, well, why don't we go into business together? So, I mean, God always has a funny way of making things kind of come together and work. And of course, his plan is far better than anything that we can come up with. And so um, after doing that, I put together a business plan. I hired a business coach, uh, filed for my LLC and then, you know, hit the ground running. And we just wrapped one of our most successful seasons with All Star Weekend. I just wanted to share my journey with you to hopefully inspire you to go after your dreams and do whatever or that thing that you've been wanting to do give it a chance because once you just fight that fear you'll move forward to your destiny make sure that you like subscribe follow and send me tips or send me comments send me whatever you want so thank you so much for tuning in i do hope this helped remember to subscribe